Hello everybody, welcome to Sherry Arbor's first birthday. As far as I'm aware, it's also the first year or anniversary of when I started making Sherry Arbor's story in general. Because I remember there was a file thing, I, like I think I went to like the first like volume, I looked at its properties and I think it said like first edited on the 6th of June or something like that, or at least it was finished edited on the 6th of June, so... We'll just say it's at the first year anniversary for now, but you know, for for instance, you know, it's just like Sherry Albert's birthday. We'll, we've just, we'll use that, alright? Sorry for tripping over a bit of my words, I am a bit off script right now. And I'm literally only using videos on the screen as a bit, um, or as a guide to telling you all what has happened so far, basically. And what you can expect after this birthday video. So, firstly, we have the first cringy meme I made of Sherry Arbor about being real. And it was basically just the concept, like, you know, first revealing, okay, I'm making a light novel series, here's what the main character looks like. The next one, then, uh, video, is a short piece, and it was taken from It's Time to Think, but I've basically changed up a bit just for Sherry Arbor's story. The third video is Sherry Arbor's character profile, which gives five facts of information on Sherry Arbor herself. The next video after that is me reacting to the character concept designs before her finished design, which I will say, even remembering it now is so weird. It's like, it's such a weird thrill I went through at that time. And even now, because, uh, well, I'll reveal at the end of the video why. After that, I then went into a story summary of uh, who Sherry Aubrey is and what's her part in her own story. After that then, I described bits about how Joe Snyder Flyer ties into the story and how he'll play a part. And then we finally reach the first story update. First one of two, might I say. And technically this video is third anyway. I might just say Sherry Aubrey's birthday and then have like slash slash update two or three, should I say. So, not much happened after that. A few weeks, I think, has passed. And then I finally get into making another concept for Claire Frandon, the next character I revealed to be a part of Sherry Arbor's story. Now, instead of a cringy meme like last time, I basically just did a reaction to her concept instead. Even revealing that during the development process, she actually had brown hair accidentally instead of uh, blonde hair. To be fair though, I did say dirty blonde and it was probably more dirty blonde than brown, but you know, we'll go with it from there. <laughs> we move on for a bit longer and we also see now a little short I made for not just YouTube, but for TikTok as well. Just like how some TikToks are also made uh, related to Sherry Albert's story. And the title of this short is called Have You Seen This Girl Before? And well, that, that's really it. It's just basically asking people if they've seen it before, describing Cherry Alper's story, basically advertising it, then telling people to subscribe or follow at the end. Then we have Story Update 2, which I do remember in Story Update 2, I said, like, I think I was finishing Volume 9, or at least starting uh, Volume 10, uh, which is good progress, I'm not gonna lie, because right now I'm near the end of uh, Volume 10, I'm gonna move on to Volume 11 soon, out of 14. So yeah, that's all really all of that. And lastly, we have... Claire Frandon's character profile, which is a bit shorter than Sherry's one, because I thought, like, you know what, we won't delay it, we'll just have, like, the information show up on screen, have it scroll down, and then finish the video, you know? But yeah, as of now, I don't know if I'm going to actually make a summary for Claire, because I realise if I made a summary for everyone, eventually there's going to be, like, so much information that you can piece together about what the story is about, and so on and so forth. So I think I'll hold back this time and wait for the next character concept that's currently in development. Now I won't say who this character concept is, all I'll say is that they'll be revealed at the end of D3 2022, which I should be working on soon, uh, basically after this birthday video goes up and live. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this like little recap of basically me just, you know, basically just uh, taking a look over the last while of having Sherry Arbor be in the limelight and instead of just being a secret thing that I'm kind of just working on in the background. I do hope to continue making more videos, especially after D3. I don't know if I have another character concept up after D3, but we'll just have to see. Because as I said, in July I'm going to be going on holiday uh, for 10 days, so my likelihood to be able to work on Sherry Arbor's might diminish because, you know, I might actually want to have fun and detach myself for a bit <laughs> from like streaming and working on Sherry Arbor's story and making videos, so yeah, 
And I do know that after July, I'm definitely going to be looking more into getting an actual job rather than just waiting out now for the holiday. Because I decided since, like, nobody's really going to take me right now because I've nearly always been asked, like, do you have a holiday planned? And every time I've answered it, I've just been denied. So, yeah, <laughs> go figure that somebody would not want to hire you if you already have a holiday planned and it's closer than ever, like, basically next month. Because they want you all the time, you know? But anyway, enough of my uh, life. Thank you so much for watching this update video and birthday video. Happy birthday, Sherry. I actually think I forgot to say that. Uh, here's to another year, I guess, of working on Sherry Opera's story. And hopefully by next year, we'll have, like, you know, volume one, like, actually out and be available to read. If you like this update, make sure to like the video, comment on what you think of Sherry Opera's story, and what you'd like to see next, even on, like, Sherry and Claire themselves, if there's something that I could do for them that I haven't done yet. And make sure to also subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll see you again in another update video for Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series that I'm working on.